Hey, entrepreneur, I have a question for you. Did you know that one third of all small businesses in the USA have closed since the start of this thing? One third. Now, granted, that is according to a statement from the vice president of the United States uh, earlier this year, so I'm not sure how accurate it actually is. But regardless, even if it's half that number, that's still a lot of businesses that are going out of business. All right, think about the families that have fallen apart because of that by divorce. Think about all of the amount of people that have entered into depression because of that and all the pressure that's been put on them. Think about the people that can't handle that pressure and they take their own life. All right, this is serious business. Business failure can be devastating to a human life. And the sad thing is it can actually be avoided for the most part. And at the end of the day, I think it's going to be somewhere around 25% of all businesses across the world are going to go out of business because of this global crisis that we're in. Uh, perhaps more, but uh, regardless, that's a lot of businesses. And do you know why every business, any business that goes out of business, do you know why it goes out of business? There's only one reason. It runs out of money. All right, Think about when you play the game Monopoly. How do you lose that game? Well, you run out of cash. And that's how you run out of a business. That's how you lose at business. You just run out of money, all right? AKA, you don't make enough profit. That is the reason all of these businesses across the world are gonna go out of business. They're not making enough money, okay? So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you two more strategies, actually three more strategies, that will immediately increase the profitability of your business, your neighbor's business, your friend's business, any business, and it has nothing to do with generating more leads, uh, closing more sales, or wasting any money on advertising campaigns that may not even work anyway, all right? What's good, Life Thrivers? It's your boy Justin here, and I have some more profit accelerating content for you that I wanna share with you today. But real quick, if you are new to this channel, welcome, hello, my name is Justin Glover, and I'm one of the founders of Profit Acceleration Systems, where we help our clients accelerate their bottom line profits within their business and we help them do it fast, all right? Without spending any additional money on advertising, without working longer hours, because that's what most people think you have to do to accelerate profit. It's not the case. In fact, over the last decade, my wife and I, we've actually helped small business owners and service providers add hundreds of millions of dollars to their bottom line profit using our simple systems and our strategies that we help them with. In fact, when we work with a small business owner, we have eight core strategies that we look at first thing. All right, and in my last video, uh, I shared three of those strategies with you. So today, I wanna just follow that up and share strategies four, five, and six with you. Uh, the beautiful thing about these three strategies that I'm gonna share with you today is you can literally start using them the moment after you're done watching this video, all right? There's nothing to do uh, in addition. You can just put them into place and you can start immediately making more profit in your business. So uh, despite what you may be thinking, this has nothing to do with going out and getting more leads or wasting money on advertising. Uh, and so grab something to take some notes with because here we go. System number four is to increase prices. All right, let me give you some math here. If you sell a widget or a service for, let's just say $100 to make the math easy, and it costs you $40 to deliver that widget or service, then you're going to make a bottom line profit of $60 per widget or service sold, right? But if you raise your prices to $120, guess what? It still costs you $40 to deliver. So that extra $20, where does it go? Straight to the bottom line profit. But most business owners, they never raise their price because they think that if they do raise their price, even by a little bit, they're gonna experience this mass exodus of all of their customers. The reality is, yeah, sure, some will leave, but when you run the numbers, you're gonna see that the additional money you make from increasing prices, it's going to far outweigh uh, the money that you might lose from those few that actually balk at the higher prices, all right? In most cases, they won't even say anything or notice. In another video, I actually broke down the math and I found out that in most cases, you would have to, to lose 25% of your entire customer database in order to match or equal the amount of additional money you would make if you just raise your price by 10%. And here's the reality. You're never gonna lose 25% of all of your customers from a 10% price increase. It's not going to happen, all right? So that's strategy number four, just increase the price. Strategy number five, 
Stop discounting, okay? Did you know that some businesses, if they discount their price by a mere 10%, they now have to sell 50% more just to break even. All right, let's look at some math, more math to actually back up that statement. Let's say that you sell a $100 widget and you have a 30% profit margin. That means that you're gonna make $30 for every $100 widget you sell, okay? So that also means that your cost basis for that widget is $70. And so if you were to discount that widget by 10% and you sell it for 90 instead of 100, well, guess what? Your cost basis is still $70. So now the only thing that's different is instead of making $30 profit per sale, you're making $20 profit. And so in this example, for you to make $1,000 selling these widgets at $100 each, you would need to sell 33.3 widgets, all right? $30 times 33.3 equals $1,000. But by discounting the price by 10%, now all of a sudden you have to sell 50 widgets, okay? $20 is which is what you're making at the discounted price times 50 widgets equals that same $1,000. And so you now have to sell 50% more widgets just to get back to the original profit margin, okay? Um, but when was the last time you actually saw a business offer just a mere 10% discount, all right? Most of the time, what do they do? 20%, 30%, 40% discounts. And they scratch their head wondering why they're going broke. This is why, all right? To add even more bad news on top of this already pretty bleak scenario. Um, the latest research, if you look at it, it shows that discounting, it doesn't even work unless it doesn't compel a prospect uh, to buy or it doesn't impact that buying decision unless the discount is above 40% or more, right? So the closely guarded secret that's successful, the most profitable business owners don't want you to know is stop discounting, all right? Stop discounting. Instead, what you want to do is innovate your business so that you offer more value than your competition, even if that means increasing your price, okay? When you discount your price, you lose the full value of every dollar you discount. Now, in our last strategy, increase prices, and the next strategy, bundling, increases the perceived value. Both of those strategies will increase the perceived value so that your prospects actually end up buying more. And so instead of discounting, raise your price. And then add on this next strategy, which is bundling, the perceived value will go up and more, more buying units will actually occur. So strategy number six, bundle. Bundling is simply the process of grouping together certain products to create packages, uh, which are then sold to clients, all right? What this does by creating a package is all of a sudden you're not competing with somebody else that does the same thing. You have created an apples to oranges comparison and it removes price from the equation altogether, all right? Because the reality is this, customers today, they shop value, not price, okay? Unfortunately, small business owners, they're lousy at conveying their value proposition. And so uh, what ends up happening is price becomes the only value proposition left to the consumers. And so the real key uh, to success in marketing, it's to offer more value than your competition and bundling increases the, increases the perceived value so that your prospects actually buy more, all right? Now, if you would like to learn more about how to actually do this in your business, you can take the guided business assessment that we've actually included in our special bundle offer uh, that we have linked here on this page somewhere. Um, and so see, we practice what we preach, we bundled stuff as well, right? The bundle is worth literally tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, we sell it for $697, but right now, because we're in the middle of a global pandemic and our mission is to help as much as we can, we are out to get this information into the hands of as many business owners as possible. And that's why we're literally just giving you that entire special bundle for free right now, all right? Uh, but for now, Let's not get into that. Let's get into the next strategy, which is one of my favorites, and that is. All right, so what did we just learn? All right, uh, number one, we learned that the fastest way to increase the bottom line profit is to increase the price of which you sell your product or service for. Your cost of goods sold, your overhead, all right, the cost for fulfillment, it's gonna stay the same. And so when you just charge more, 100% of that additional money that you bring in per sale, where does it go? Straight to the bottom line, baby. Number two, we learned that the fastest way to take profit out of the business, eh -eh, it's not what we wanna do, the fastest way to do that is to offer a discount, all right? This has the opposite effect as raising the prices. When you make a discounted sale, your cost of fulfillment, 
it doesn't go down with it. It doesn't change. And so all that really happens is you make way less money, all right? You actually lose more than 100% of the discounted price on your bottom line. In fact, like I said earlier, if you discount uh, your price by 10%, a measly 10%, you're literally gonna have to sell an additional 50% more just to break even on the bottom line. And trust me, a 10% discount it ain't gonna like it ain't gonna increase your sales by 50%. I assure you that. Third thing I mentioned is to raise your price without losing your existing customers. You gotta get creative. You gotta think outside of the box. You gotta innovate your business. And you gotta offer more value. Okay, when you offer more value, you can charge more and people don't complain. In fact, they're grateful. And so one strategy for doing this is by bundling your primary offering with things that make sense and make that perceived value of what you're selling higher. And so there you go. You can literally take action on all of these strategies today. All right. If you're currently running a discount, stop, add something to the offer, make it three times more valuable, and then raise the price by 10 or 20%. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to make more money. You can instantly start making more money when you do this. And so you're welcome. All right. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did find this helpful, please share this video with a business owner, friend of yours. It could literally save their business. It could prevent a divorce. It could even save a life. Also, if you'd like to take our totally free self-guided business assessment that will show you the exact steps that you need to take in your specific business to accelerate your bottom line profits, the link to do that is below. I've also included some more helpful tools and resources that will help you just achieve your business goals faster. So thanks again for watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel, click the button, do that now, and I'll see you in the next video.